Uh, to me, uh, when you're looking at quarterbacks, it's a lot of intangibles. I've seen Rodgers quit in the big game. I've seen him quit. Okay. I, uh, San Francisco three years ago, the buyer language, he quit. I've never seen Brady do that. I saw Brady last year against <laughs> so, the Rams at 44 years of age when they were getting mauled. I saw Brady stand in there and bring them back. And if it wasn't for, you know, a great play, a terrible job by the, by Tampa's deep, by the um, Tampa defense, they may have won that game. I've yeah. never seen Rodgers okay. do that. Rodgers well, I mean, collapsed the, against San Francisco. How did you are, you you're you're cherry games? picking specific games. On their Super Bowl run, Tom Brady was not good throughout the playoffs. That defense carried them. So, like, the idea, our job is He's to try to disentangle. Our job is to try to disentangle all the context from this and, and pick out who we think is better. And I think you have a hard time separating what the impacts are on the team. So we look at Tom Brady his last year with the Patriots. People were talking about he was done because what, around, what was around him was not good enough. Then you put him on what is essentially a dream team. There's really no holes on that roster. Then all of a sudden, he's really good. We look at Joe Burrow, and they have talent, but that's not a dream team. And somehow he takes that team to the Super Bowl. So I'm not sure how we can forget about going up to Aaron Rodgers, Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen level. I'm not sure that I think that Tom Brady is better than Joe Burrow. Like, I think that if you are trying to take an honest assessment of who has meant more to their specific team in this past season and who's going to mean more to their team in the coming season, I think the obvious answer is Joe Burrow. The obvious answer is Patrick Mahomes. Obvious answer is Aaron Rodgers. All those people, I think, are more valuable to their teams going forward than what Tom Brady has shown himself to be. That's all. I mean, it's simple. It's, it's, it seems hard to argue to me. Let me ask you this. Oh, yeah. Let me ask you both this question. Let me ask you both this question. We remember, we remember how the Super Bowl ended. We remember that Aaron Donald ended that Super Bowl on a sack. We also remember that there was a wide receiver streaking down the sideline going left to right that was wide open that Joe was about to uncock that thing and throw it to him and they were about to win that game. Let's just say that Aaron gets blocked on that play. They complete that pass. They win the Super Bowl. How do you, would that affect your ratings in, in terms of 1 through 10 now? Where would Not you put him then? Where would I, you put him? I, I, listen, I'm looking, I think when you do a ratings of a quarterback, there has to be some level of foundation. Burroughs had one year. I, I get it. I get it. Year after year after year, that has to that has to weigh in when you rank quarterbacks. I, I answered. I answered your foolish hypothetical. So answers lose foolish hypothetical. But that's Would not that foolish though. It? But that's not. Yeah, you know no, what? I, see, see, I'm. I'm you're, you're right. You're I'm, right. No, it was a good I, hypothetical. But I, you know what? I, I think what it is is see, I, I tend to lean towards what a player is doing now and what he projects to do in the future. Look, I, I understand that, you know, a player's resume does account for something when you're talking about where does he stand in the overall bigger picture when you're talking about rankings. But I tell you this, from a front office perspective, you get in trouble when you start living in the past and you start valuing players based on what they've done before and you don't live in the here and now and what they can do in the future. And look, Tom may go out and throw for 55 touchdowns this year and, have a, and come on this show or be tweeting about me saying, hey, man, how stupid were you to put Joe Burrow ahead of me? Don't ever doubt me. But I'm we, just telling you, looking at, the da looking at the we, data and looking at the tape, yeah. Joe Burrow is the truth, man. We can't, well, allow, we, can't, we can't allow Mad Dog to Eurostep around that hypothetical. <laughs> and I know, I know you don't know what a Eurostep is because it's relatively new to the game of basketball and you only watch stuff from the 90s and before. But you way, can't avoid the question. Mad Dog, had he, had, he, Mad Dog had he thrown a touchdown, where would you put him? Answer it. Uh, I wouldn't put him ahead of Brady and these guys, no. Oh, I got to have gosh. more than one year. So you just going <laughs> so to just going, you, you, you would just but leave no, okay, that, that But, but, but by your same argument, Lewis, <gasps> Mahomes was awful in a championship game. That second half, he stunk. Let's call it like we see it. He yeah. was terrible. So yeah. if you're going to sit there and say one pass propels Burrow, what does one half do for Mahomes? But you're, pick, but, you're, but, but, but you're picking out certain plays in well, certain that's what you're doing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Play. But you're picking I'm, – I'm saying you're picking out certain plays and certain body language from Aaron Rodgers at different points <laughs> in time did. and ripping him down because of it. No, I'm picking out games, Lewis. I'm <sighs> picking out – he lost two playoff games at home where he didn't play well. And he's the best – supposed to be the best player in the league? You got to play better than that, and that's what he's well, You know what? I'm not. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not. I'm not sitting here. I'm not trying to defend Aaron Rodgers, man. I'm just saying that Joe Burrow. Look, I'm, I'm trying to really Burrow. look toward the I future. I get Burrow. I get him. I, I don't completely disagree with you about Burrow, but Burrow fifth is not the argument to me. The argument's the top four, and Rodgers should not be ahead of Brady. That's my point. Okay. All right.
euro step is when you take And by the way, one other thing. If you think Durant's better than – I'll tell you one thing about Bird. Bird never left the Celtics oh, to go gosh. play with Larry. Oh, like, Durant, <laughs> Durant, <laughs> Durant would cook Larry oh, no. Bird. We this all is, uh, would uh, eat uh, Bird for gonna, dinner. Oh, we're going to see it. We're going to see it. We'll talk real. basketball. Larry Let's talk. Barbecue. We'll talk basketball cook. very soon, Lewis. We're saying goodbye. It's all hail. <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.